guys, it's Grace. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to show you what is on my iPod Touch 5th generation. Um, I've been watching a lot of these videos lately and it kind of inspired me to do my own. And I thought it would be fun just to show you some of the editing apps that I have or just regular games. And maybe if you're looking for like a new app, um, I can give you some ideas. So I don't want this intro to get too long. So. Without any further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so this is my iPod, and it is the blue or tealish color um, iPod Touch 5th generation, like I said, and I have had this iPod um, for about a year now. So, um, my case is actually from a company called Incipio right there, and I have dropped this a bunch of times, and as you can see, um, the screen is not cracked, so I guess that's a really good thing. And this case is just has some blue um, little kind of stud things on it. So when you turn it on, this is what you see. And my background is pancakes, and I found it from Tumblr. I thought it was just really cute, so I made it my background. Um, oops. So if you slide to unlock... This is the first page you'll see, but I'm going to start with this page. Um, so at the top, I just have calendar, weather, photos, settings, videos, clock, calculator. Those are pretty much just the apps that every Apple device comes with right off the start. And then on the bottom right here, I have mail, messages, safari, and camera. And these are the most used apps, so that's why I put them on the bottom row. And then we swipe to the next page, and I have, this is the page where I have all the, my most used apps. I have Pandora, and then this is in my education folder. I have this really cool cal MyScript calculator, and pretty much, so it was, say, 4 plus 8 equals 12. So you pretty much just write out your letters and it gives you the answer to your problem. So that's kind of cool. And then um, I have Khan, which is pretty much um, you can look up videos for different subjects like science or math. And I find this really helpful with my math homework. And then Duolingo is pretty much just a language learning app. I'm learning Spanish right now because I take Spanish in school and it helped me a lot last year before I started Spanish. Um, it's a really great app and I recommend it if you're going to be learning a new language and you want to kind of get a feel for it before you actually start. And then I just have dictionary from dictionary.com and that's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, then I have some of my photo editing apps. I have Afterlight, No Crop, PicFlow, CamWow, Pro, WordSwag, Kick, Snapseed, Superimpose, PhotoRest, Time Warner Cable, YouTube, Instagram, Vine, Snapchat, SiriusXM, iMovie, Twitter, and Tumblr. And then, so on the next page, I have one more photo editing app, and that is Pic Collage. But um, then you find all of my games going through here. So I have Scooter XL, Fast Camera, Minecraft PE. Magic Piano, Logic Box, Minion Rush, Temple Run 2, Emoshi, Little Things, Blockheads, Bakery Story, Restaurant, Candy Crush, Font Maker, Characters, Sims Free Play, Video Star, Tiny Thief, and Wattpad. It's pretty much just uh, this app and you can um, read fan fiction. An app that I really, really enjoy and I really, really um, recommend is Candy Crush. If you haven't heard of it already, it's a pretty popular app on the App Store. Pretty much, um, it is a very highly addicting game, um, and it'll, it'll keep you busy for hours. So pretty much all you do is you swipe the candies to get three in a row. You get the idea. So then on the last page of my apps, I have Pac-Man Farm Heroes, which is actually a newer version of Candy Crush, but it's not with candy. It's actually with like little um, farm animals and foods and fruits and vegetables and you can see how it's sort of like the same idea as Candy Crush but um, you do it with animals and food and things like that. I have Angry Birds Go Podcasts which is um, another Apple app but it doesn't come with your iPod when you download it and you can listen to things when you run or something like that. 
Um, and then the last app is Flappy Bird, and this is an app that I just downloaded, and it is, again, another addicting game. So pretty much all you do is you touch the bird and try to get it in between the pipes without touching the pipes. And it's really hard. <laughs> I only usually make one. But anyways, um, and the last thing, the background is actually one of the Apple-made backgrounds. Um, I didn't really have another background I wanted to use, so I just have this one. So that is everything that is on my iPod Touch this generation. I hope you got some ideas for apps. If you would like to know any more information on those apps, you can just send me an instant message or tweet me on Twitter. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.